This week we have dug ourselves out again from another snowstorm. I can't believe how much snow we've had this year. Every time we get a storm, we dig ourselves out, we have another storm. And so uh, sadly this time we've actually had a bit of a building collapse. So I'm going to show you what happened there. I've also got some news on our 100th episode, which is coming up soon, and uh, some really interesting information about the survey that we did recently. Uh, and before I forget, if you haven't subscribed to our Lady Smith Manor YouTube channel below, make sure you subscribe so that you get notified every time we put out a new video. But let me show you what we've been up to this week. So we're just digging ourselves out from the latest snowstorm it's been snowing for like well, at least 24 hours and uh, so far we've made ourselves a little path we're now waiting for the plow to come so we can dig out the rest of the driveway but uh, it's a lot of white out here these two cars are kind of pretty much covered and around here my truck well can't see much of it it's pretty much buried it's gonna take me a bit of digging out to get that one out So this is the beautiful frame that is going up here in our library behind me on this wall um, with our big canvas in. Now, uh, this is a frame that we actually picked up in BC just like the one we used in our bathroom with our wallpaper and we uh, brought it all the way across Canada and uh, it's been sitting waiting to have the canvas put into the frame. And uh, so I'm just giving it a good clean because it's been sitting here for a while. It's got a little dusty um, to get it ready uh, for the canvas to go in. And the work in the library has been a bit slower than we had originally hoped for. We're just making sure everything's um, in line with the fire marshal and building permits and all the different things that we have to have in place. Um, so it's taken us a little bit longer um, and obviously we don't want to put it up till everything is finished because we don't want it to get dirty. So, um, but we're getting there, we're almost there. So I'm just cleaning this up and uh, getting it ready for the beautiful canvas that's going to go inside it. And this is the beautiful canvas that we have that will be going into that frame. And uh, we've had it actually for quite a while, you'll probably remember a long time ago when we first got it, I, uh, I showed you because I was so excited about receiving it. Uh, and uh, it's been sitting waiting patiently to go into our frame. But we're getting so close now that I thought I would get it out and have another look at it because I almost had forgotten what it looked like it's been so long. But I just love uh, the Victorian family on the beach. They've got their teacups and their teapots. Um, sitting with their hats and it just is a just a it's just the perfect um, picture for our library and I'm so excited to see it actually on the wall but I'm gonna really enjoy I think sitting in that space and spending time looking at this picture because there's so many little details that make it so interesting We've had so much snow recently that there's just piles of it everywhere. And this morning when we went out, we discovered that part of our old chicken coop roof has collapsed under the weight of the snow, which is kind of not really surprising. It's, uh, the old chicken coop is in a really bad shape. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm kind of a little bit sad, uh, but we have great well, we have big plans for that space and we will be sharing more about those, but I, at the moment, I'm off to see what happened with the roof. So the weight of the snow has just got too much and one half of the roof has completely collapsed. And we kind of always knew that this might happen. Um, it's not in good shape and uh, we've had a lot of snow, but it's just very strange to see it with only one part of the roof there but we do have big plans for this space and so it will be coming back to life I can't believe half the roof is gone it's um yeah it's quite strange to see but as I said we do have big plans for this space and obviously it's not safe and we were gonna have to demolish it anyway so I guess that's partly done for us so now we've just got to wait for the snow to melt to obviously take the rest down but we will be rebuilding a very special place 
in this same spot. Uh, we're creating an orangery. Now, most people who I say we're building an orangery, they're like, what? Um, but um, it's very European back in the day. Um, very big homes would often, or big houses would have um, a space outside that they would build and they would keep their orange trees in. And it was often used as an entertaining space um, and similar to a greenhouse in the sense that it has a lot of glass in it. So it had a, was very bright and warm and airy. And so we are gonna be building um, a space that has a similar feel. We're going to call it our orangery and um, it's going to have glass on three sides. It's going to be um, just very traditional and it's going to be a fabulous space that um, everyone will be able to enjoy year round. It's going to be built so we can use it all the way through the year and uh, we're going to use it for fabulous culinary experiences as well as lots of other events and experiences. So I am very, very excited. We're just at the planning stages at the moment, so we will have lots more information coming over the next few months. But I wasn't expecting to see um, the demo start so early with the roof caving in, but uh, it's, um, I'm gonna, we are going to re reclaim as much the materials of that we can from the uh, existing building um, and uh, reuse as much as we can to try and uh, keep the soul of this beautiful outbuilding which lots of people think I'm crazy when I call it beautiful but there's something very very charming about it and we're going to keep that and uh, rebuild it and uh, bring something new and more exciting back to life. I'm just looking through all the feedback that came from the survey that we did recently and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who took the time to answer the questions and we put the survey out really to get some feedback from you about what you'd be interested in in regards to events and experiences and things that we're planning at the manor and I thought you might be interested in hearing some of the you know the stats that came out of that survey which I find really really interesting. Um, we asked about the type of event you guys would be interested in coming to and 92% of you said that you would love to come to markets and garden parties which is obviously fabulous because we love our Christmas and our summer markets. We'll be putting more, we've actually got some plans for some other ones that will be coming so we're really excited about that. 67% uh, of you said farm to table events which is something we're very passionate about, supporting local, supporting local farmers, being able to bring uh, and connect people with the local produce. So that's very, very exciting. 58% um, of you said creative workshops, which obviously is like that. Creative workshops is, is a very uh, big umbrella. There's so many different things that we can do under that umbrella. So I'm really excited to start planning. 60% said afternoon teas, which of course, how can we have a Ladysmith Manor without afternoon teas? So uh, they'll be coming. 56% um, of you said culinary experiences, which um, we have lots of plans for, um, along with 55% of you saying live music, which again will be something that we part of our event uh, calendar, as, long, as well as, you know, 47% said food and drink pairings, art shows and exhibits. We had lots but those were kind of like the top six um, that really came out as those type of events that you guys are most interested in. Now we then asked which four experiences you'd be most excited to attend. So the four that came out of the list that we had were Vintage Summer Picnic, which I can't wait for. I have so many plans for summer picnics, well, vintage summer picnics. Um, coffee, chocolate, and wine pairings, which, oh my goodness, yeah, gets me up. I just, well, chocolate, wine, coffee, I mean, how can you go wrong? So we're, we've got lots of plans for those two. Uh, historic hands-on cooking class, which uh, is gonna be fabulous and pick your own produce and cook experience. So that's something that we're really developing is um, developing our own kitchen garden so you would actually be able to come and pick your own produce and then come to our culinary experience. So lots of exciting opportunities there. And then the next two questions was were the ones that, they didn't surprise me, but I was really delighted to see these results. Um, when we asked you what is the most important, what is most important about an event or an experience that you would come and attend, 87% said 
said supporting local and it just is I just think it's fabulous and I really that's something that we're very passionate about here at the manor and we really want to support there's so many great artisans products farms produce locally how can we bring those people together and support each other and then so that was the top answer to what's most important about an event or experience and then when asked why you love to attend events and experience the top answer with 88% was to see local talent and products. So again, we are thrilled to be able to bring experiences and events that showcase local and give you an opportunity to interact with local artisans and products and makers and merchants. So thank you again for your input. We really, really, truly appreciate it. And we are so excited about um, all the answers that came through and we will be tailoring our events and experiences for this year. We're working right now on our calendar for 2022 and that will be released um, in the near future. And uh, so we have lots of all of these types of events coming up that, for you to enjoy. It's hard to believe that in four weeks time we'll be on our 100th episode of the Lady Smith Manor Diaries. I cannot believe how quickly time has flown. It feels like yesterday that we were on episode one and I was inviting you to join us on, on this adventure that we were going to go on and 100 episodes later here we are, well almost in four weeks, and look at what has changed at the manor. It's, it's been an, a fantastic way not only to share it with you but also to document all the work that we've done and all the things, the changes we've seen here at Ladysmith Manor. And so we have to celebrate, obviously. So we will be celebrating our 100th episode in four weeks. And uh, we'll be doing something very, very special. And uh, there'll be something that you'll be able to win. So keep your eyes tuned and stay tuned to the next few episodes because I'll be sharing all the details. I can't tell you all the details now. It's kind of a little bit secret. <laughs> um, but it's gonna be something very, very special because it's very monumental. A um, hundred episodes, which is a hundred weeks. Um, that's a lot of video. <laughs> I know some people who have found us more recently will have said to me, oh, I, you know, I've started at number one. And I'm like, good grief, that is a lot of video to watch. But it is fantastic for us to look back and see the first episodes and, and all the different stages and you, because we're in it and we're part doing the work and, and involved in it all the time, you kind of forget where you came, you know, where you started and where you've got to and all the work in between. So it is just a great way for us to be able to document that. And we are so happy that we're able to share all our adventures with you. And we will be continuing to do that. So the Ladies of Man and Diaries are gonna continue. Um, and so you'll be able to join us as we continue to grow and um, change things and restore the manor. We've still got so much to do and share with you. Um, but the 100th episode is gonna be a big celebration. So stay tuned and uh, you'll find out how you can win something very, very special. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get back to work. I've got... Uh, lots of things to do as always and I look forward to seeing you next week on our next episode of the Ladies with Manor Diaries. Mm -hmm.